Welcome to another Manliness Monday, YouTube. Today, I'm going to teach you how to repair your boots and care for them. These boots are about eight years old. They're dirty, worn out, heels coming off, need to be re-waterproofed, and need new laces. I'm going to show you how to do it. What you need, a good stiff uh, boot brush, some mink oil, some rubber cement, and a hair dryer or a heat gun. Real men have heat guns. Let's get to it, guys. Okay. First thing to do is remove the laces. Quick way of doing that cut the bottom and just start tugging. I always try to cut the bottom, it saves you a lot more time. This one's already cut. Now, boot brush. Good thing to do is inspect all around to see if you need to get it wet first. Right now, I don't. The idea is to get everything nice and clean so when you go to waterproof it, you get good adherence. The next thing we're going to do is fix this heel. So again, make sure there's no crud in there. You want to peel this back all the way to expose as much of the rubber as you can. Once it's set, just wipe away the excess. Now that the heel's taken care of, Time for the mink oil. You want to take just about a half a teaspoon of this stuff and rub it in as best you can. Once that's all rubbed in, it's time to heat it up and let it soak. You want to use the lowest setting you can on your heat gun. This part is kind of monotonous and loud with the heat gun, so I'm just going to give you guys a voiceover. The point of using the heat gun is to melt the mink oil and allow it to soak and penetrate into the leather, also giving you a more even coverage. As you see the mink oil heat up, it'll get shiny and start to move like hot butter or bacon grease. This is when you start to massage it into the, into the leather and wait until there's no more shininess left. Now that your boots are done, I always give it a few minutes to dry and cool down first, and then I inspect it. See how the leather's a nice darker color? It, sh it, t it changed about one shade darker, and it has a slight shine to it. That's how you know the oil has impregnated into the leather. Now, let's lace these guys up, put this project to bed. As simple as a procedure as relacing boots is, I'm always surprised when people don't know how to do it. And honestly, if you just follow the indents on the tongue, it kind of just tells you how to do it. Even the laces out. It's always a little bit tricky getting through those, those swivel lugs. Especially this one, because I made it about three, four years ago. And when I, when I closed the loop, it closed a little tighter than I anticipated. But, 
that's really it guys let's bring this back to the face and we'll wrap it up YouTube thanks for watching if you have enjoyed this video please consider hitting that subscribe button and leaving a comment I really appreciate hearing what you have to say I release a new manliness Monday well every Monday at 1 30 and a new project video every Friday at 1 30 right now I would like to give a second and to give a huge shout out to my patreon supporters they help me bring free content like this to you guys every week if you haven't yet please go over and check out the page there's a link in the description below and a little clickable icon up on my channel art over there I give you guys free access to everything I post and early access to all of my videos paid supporters get a few other perks and that's detailed on the website so next week I will cover how to take your gloves off there actually is a proper way to do it and you savages need to learn a little bit of etiquette and it does not involve using your teeth now the following Friday for the project video I will be finishing the wearables these 13 beard beads will be parted off I'll show you a jig on how to get a center hole on every single one and then finish it with boiled linseed oil boiled linseed oil and if there's something you'd like me to cover on these manliness Mondays or in a future project video please leave your suggestion again in the comment section below thanks for watching this is Chris Knight from Knightsmith saying in a world full of guys be a man